Welcome to the Fab Female Nutrition Podcast, episode 161. Hey there, I'm your host, Wendy Hill, and I'm a nutritional therapist and expert in female hormone health. I specialize in helping women gain confidence and understanding their bodies, allowing them to shine. This podcast allows me to share the knowledge I've built up, along with bringing you guest experts to support you in your journey. Ruth, I am delighted to have you here today. Um, thank you for joining me. And if you could just um, sort of give the listeners a bit of a brief bio on how you kind of got into reflexology and what it means to you. Yeah, thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm Ruth and um, I was a secondary school teacher for about 18 or 19 years. I used to teach business studies in ICT. And probably about eight years ago then, uh, my daughter had um, a back injury. She We used to have chickens at our old house uh, at the top of the garden. And um, she went up one night just to uh, feed the chickens or put them to bed or something. And she slipped on a piece of wood that was at the top of the garden and fell and injured the base of her spine. And it was all muscular damage, so nothing massively serious or anything. But it meant that she was in quite a lot of pain. And... Uh, she had treatment, she had physio, she had um, pain relief and what have you, and, and the pain went away. And then a few weeks or months later, the pain came back with a vengeance and sort of a back was in sort of a spasm. And the lady that I worked with at the time, my head of department, whose husband was a GP, she said to me, um, well, I don't see, uh, I don't have um, medication, I don't have pain relief or uh, anything like that. I go and see a reflexologist. And I thought, Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So she gave me the name of a lady in Sutton Coalfield, which is close to where um, I live. And um, I took my daughter there and she had a treatment and she went in in tears and she came out and she said, the pain hasn't gone completely, but it's much, much, much better. Wow. And then she went back a couple of days later and she's never had pain since. I thought that is pretty amazing and very interesting. <laughs> so so I thought maybe I would uh, learn reflexology. So I, I looked around for courses. Now, is reflexology the same? I would imagine it's very similar to nutrition where you kind of, you don't know all of it. You're kind of always learning. Oh, totally, totally. So I finished the year and, the, you know, it's a level five course. So it's it's the equivalent to second year degree level. Yeah. So it's really intense and there's lots and lots to learn. But I, I walked away and I just thought, that's that I've just scratched the surface of it. <laughs> I think it works brilliantly by reducing stress um you know it's a, it's a touch therapy so it promotes the release of uh, the production of endorphins into the body uh, which you know as we know if we can reduce stress <laughs> yeah yeah key to our, everything yeah, our biggest thing isn't it yeah, it really <laughs> is really it's stress yeah. and sleep the two kind of yeah biggies for yeah. me and I would imagine yeah. it helps with um with sleep as well but I just want to before yeah. I ask you that I just want to kind of I love what you said Ruth about it encouraging healing and I yeah. think this is really key in when you said like sort of complementary therapies is that you know you you're not you're not saying for the first minute that reflexology is going to heal somebody no. but it's encouraging and that's what kind of how I was trained is that actually the work that we do the body wants to heal itself doesn't it that's right yes so yeah. if we can yes. do things to help it on that path yeah then we're doing the right things and that really is kind of you're kind of manipulating it to is it like improving sort of like lymphatic drainage and things like that is that yeah. the kind of things that you're doing as well as sort of stim are you stimulating the actual kind of organ kind of thing does that make yeah. sense yeah I mean in in, in practice yes that's what I'm aiming to do I mean aiming to stimulate every single cell in the body and thereby encouraging sort of toxins to be released and uh, lymph to move better and what have you um but you know it, it, I also believe that it works through um in fact just going back to lymphatic drainage one of the courses that I did do during lockdown was uh with a lady called Sally Kay who um does a, a protocol called reflexology for lymphatic drainage <laughs> and what she did is that she used to work in I think it was whether she worked in a hospital or a hospice setting I'm not sure but she worked as a reflexologist and what she did is she watched the nurses do proper manual lymph drainage on a person's body when they were having issues with lymphedema from um, when they had lymph nodes removed perhaps after breast surgery 
or maybe abdominal surgery or or, or wherever. Um, and it's quite a physical sort of uh, almost an invasive um, treatment, really. And what she did is she watched the way those 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 practitioners worked and she mimicked that treatment on the feet. Um, and that is amazing. And that's tangible. And that's being wow. done as a research trial. So what she would do is, is in the research trial, she worked with ladies well, and, and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen who had had um, mastectomies. And she measured the volume of fluid in somebody's arm where they've got lymphedema in the arm. And she did this protocol. And it's a really simple, really beautiful, really gentle protocol, encouraging that lymph to drain uh, through the body. And um, then she measured at the end of the treatment as well. And the, the difference is, is, is marked. It's a huge you clearly have a passion for it. And I, I just love that. I, you know, yeah. it, it shines out. And that's why I wanted to get on. So thank you. It's been it's been brilliant. Lots and lots of tips in there. Lots and lots of sort of advice and support. We're going to, we'll link up as well. So if anyone's interested in booking a session or becoming, you know, a reflexologist, that would be amazing. I just think it's yes. a great oh, kind yes. of modality <laughs> to have. And it kind of fits. I love that kind of fitting with the whole you know it, we are a whole human being aren't we and, and we shouldn't just think you know it's not just food it's not just you know supplements it's not just prescription medication and you know things like reflexology are, are so powerful and we knew that yeah. hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago and we kind of forgotten it haven't we it's an art that we've forgotten yeah. so yeah. I love the fact yeah. that we're kind of highlighting awesome. that area so it's brilliant brilliant I just <laughs> want to do my uh, quick fire round with you before we go if we can okay. so um I suppose the first one is, um, are you a jeans or a dresses kind of girl? Mm, probably jeans. Ah, I thought you'd say dresses. <laughs> so every time I see Ruth, she always looks lovely and she's always dressed up and she's always, you know, makeup on and stuff. But I suppose I see you with your, you know, your war paint on, don't I? Really? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Je- je- jeans, boots and a and a hoodie and I'm happy, yeah. <laughs> and a pair of wellies. That's, that'd and be some wellies, happy. yeah. <laughs> Definitely in the moment. Um, sushi or pizza? Pizza. Yeah, me didn't too. Even, didn't think about that one, did I? <laughs> no, not at all. And are you a beach bum or a, would you prefer skiing? Mm, I've never actually skied, but I would probably prefer... I prefer lakes and mountains to beaches. And <laughs> it is in the afternoon while I'm recording this, so do you know what you've got for tea tonight? I do. And oh. actually, it's being cooked for me. My daughter's cooking How for me tonight. Lovely. And we have salmon uh with uh, i think it's teriyaki salmon lots of stir fry type vegetables and uh, nice yeah. yes Ooh, that'd be really nice that's nice you really don't live nice. far from me can i come for tea yes of course <laughs> <laughs> it's been an absolute pleasure thank you so much i really appreciate your time and it's been thank brilliant you for having me. oh no it's been brilliant we will link to everything so please link um if you want to get in touch with ruth all her links are in the show notes but thank you wonderful thank you wendy Thank you for watching this excerpt of this week's Fab Female Nutrition Podcast. If you'd like to listen to the full episode, then the link is in the notes below.